Morning ladies, welcome to Start the Week Stamping. Um, and today I'm going to show you how we made this card, but I'm going to step it up a little bit. So this is the card that we made, I made with Julie Kettlewell, who's my upline and a good friend of mine. And she designed this card um, for us to use on a training day that we did, um, using the new Sweet as a Peach um, stamp set, which, I haven't got out yet, whoops. <laughs> um, and what, what Julie did, taught us how to do, is to use a sponge dauber. Sponge dauber. And to add some Calypso coral um, to the edge of the stamp to give the peach sort of a more 3D look. Um, however, uh, I've noticed um, what some other people are doing is actually stamping it on the pale papaya so this is stamped with pale papaya and calypso coral and um, on white but some people now paint uh, actually stamping it on excuse my whatever it is going on actually stamping it onto the pale papaya card so that's what we're going to go to do today and i'm also going to make this into what we call a joyful joy fold card so this is a standard fold and we're just going to make it into a joy fold card so right let's get this stamp set out which is uh, hidden away under my light right and it's got the dies in with it as well which is useful so it's all ready to go so i just keep the dies next to it and then i've got a little bag here with um things that i've already die cut out extras of sometimes you do you're making a card and you make a few too many so and the other thing i do is i stamp on the inside of the packaging so i can tell what all of those are because that's that and that's that so it's just easy for me to find so I do that when I get it and it's just actually on a piece of paper that I then slip down on the inside right so I'll put this to one side and I will take off my acetate there we go and I'm going to get my um stamp and prick pad because it is quite a, a thick flat a big flat stamp um with lots and lots of detail on i've just got a little scrap of the pale papaya here so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to ink up with the pale pizzazz pale pizzazz pale papaya use a pear pizzazz so very peas today which also reminds me of julie kettle oil anyway that's a whole other story. So I'm just thinking up with the pale papaya. Pop that away and then I'm just getting my sponge dauber. You can either hold it or put it on your finger. It's up to you. The stamping ones are nice and big so they fit nicely on my fingers. And I'm just going to pick up some of the Calypso Coral ink. Okay, and then I'm just going to dab that round the edge of my peach, sorry, that's my next door neighbour's noisy car going there. Should be leaving soon. Just dabbing it round the edge of the peach, just gonna pop a little bit more on. Just round the edge. Now the pale papaya may have dried slightly, so we just need to huh, it to uh, re-moisten everything. So I'm just gonna <sighs> my stamp and pop that down nice and firmly so that the ink has a chance to transfer over onto the paper so how peachy does that look so i'm really pleased with the way that looks just gonna pop the window too because it seems to be hanging around <laughs> right so that's the peachy and then to continue having this sort of graded effect uh, or a, a color on color effect i'm actually going to stamp the leaves onto some pear pizzazz in pear pizzazz so, so we have our leaves here and again I've got a piece of pear pizzazz card and I'm just going to, so at the moment we're just using scraps of card um, that I had in my scraps bag. I do keep my scrap bags in colour families so that they're easier to find all the regals together all the subtles together etc and then i'm just going to stamp that there 
onto the uh, paper sass. There's quite a bit of shading on this stamp and the shading on the peachy stamp as well. I just quite like the orange. Um, and it, But if you wanted to also, you could use your sponge brought dauber just to edge the leaves if you wanted to as well. Um, I think Julie did it in Mossy Meadow and that looked really good. Um, but I think I'm concentrating on getting some peachy peaches. So, right, so that's most of our stamping done. So I'm just going to cut these out and then uh, start gluing everything together. So, so these will go through my little die cutting machine, the Baby Boss. So I'll just get that out and get my cutting cards out. Okay. So love this because it's it's nice and quick to get out. I just have it on the side of my desk. The the the, the big boss has its own table and everything out of the way, um, which is quite useful. I keep it on an IKEA trolley um, with all the stamping up stuff, all the um, die cutting stuff in the top, um, on the top shelf, so I can get to it when I need it so just going to pop that die on there we go so we shouldn't be able to see any of the pale papaya card should all be ink so I'm happy with that obviously I can't stand up and possibly could have done actually but we've done it now right so I'm just going to whiz that through my little, as I say, the baby boss, the baby stamping cut and emboss machine. I'm really happy with the way that's come out. Then we're going to do just the same with the leaves. So I'll just pop that over there. Now we can get all the kit and caboodle out of the way and I can show you uh, and tell you the measurements of how to actually make the card itself. So... I'm going to stand up and just have a look and align that up a little bit better than that. Over there, more or less. Handmade, not machine made in China. Okay, there we go. Just going to whiz that through again. And then this folds away really nicely. So, there we go between my radio and my card blanks <laughs> up on my shelf here so, there we go all within reach right so this is the card as I say we're going to make and we'll put away the dies and everything because we don't need those we will need the stamp sex we do need to stamp the sentiment but I'll come to that in a minute da, 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 da. Leaves. right okay so Julie's card um, was on a normal standard card base, but as I say, I've decided I want to go for a joy fold. So, let me get it out from under all my bits. Here we go. So, I've cut some of the bits out already. Now, what I've done is I've made a standard card base. And then I've cut off the front this piece, and I'm going to double check the measurement before I tell you, four, four centimetres. So I've just cut half a sheet of A4, so cut at 14.85, scored at 10 and a half, then cut a four centimetre strip off this side. Okay, well, that side really. And this is what makes your joy fold, okay? So nice and pretty card with a little bit of a added detail that it's, uh, got the shorter front so then I used my um, stitch so sweetly framelits to cut out the sentiment piece and also to cut out a strip of the DSP that I'm just going to stick on there I've got my peaches I just need to write my sentiment on there so just going to glue this on Mm. 
such a pretty paper, the paper that goes with this set. And because I've cut it out with exactly the same die, it just fits, slides on perfectly. Okay. And then I'm going to be putting the peach on dimensionals, but round about here. See how much, it just looks like a real peach. Uh, I'm so pleased with the way that's coming out. That's just with the pale papaya and the, um, Calypso Coral it was in there somewhere. So one of the other colours on this stamps on this DSP is um, Early Espresso. So I'm going to use that to stamp on my sentiment. So I've got my Early Espresso here. So just going to stamp that sentiment at the top there. Sweet as a peach. Okay. Leave that to dry a second while I make the card. So, first things first, we need our DSP. So this is six centimeters by 14.4. And just fits nicely on the front there. Just gonna put some Blue on there. Okay. And I'm just lining that up on the front there. Okay, and then we've got this piece, and this piece is going to go in the middle of the card like that. Okay, so what I normally do is I line it up here on this, not going to glue it here. Shut the card, get your glue, which you foolishly stood up. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to put a line of glue along there. Okay, so just a thin line of glue along there. And then get your sentiment piece is going to go there so I'm just going to turn it over and just put some glue on this side here and that way you've no glue coming through to the card but it's firmly adhered where you want it so then putting it in the middle of the card front just like that and there you go and that's your joy fold how cute is that? And if you wanted to put it further over, you could do. I've just put it in the middle, but it could go further over and it would look really nice. And then I'm just going to get some dimensionals, which I'm sure I had out. I've actually just finished a class, so everything's all in a bit of a mix-up. There's all sorts of stuff out. But I just had this idea. I thought, you know, I'm just going to do this for today, this week's um, start the week stamping. So just to get that extra depth and that extra realism out of your peach. So I'm just going to pop that up on a couple of dimensionals there and then add a dimensional on the back of here. So just in the largest area. Let's just check. Oh, we can just see the white. You can roll dimensionals off before you've pressed them down fully. They will. Even once you've pressed them down fully, they, are, they you will roll. You can roll them off, but they're not rescuable. They're not usable when you're finished. Whereas if you just roll it off like that, there we go. We can see it still use it. Right, and then I've put the leaves just to one side there, and there you go. And there's your joy filled card. So that's the original. And then this is the. Uh, that Julie did and then this is the uh, the one I've done so you can also obviously you've got to write sort of in this area here so to guide people what you can do is cut out another um, uh, a stitch shape framework and actually put it underneath here so it's covered up by this but so that they, they know where they're writing on the card um, so I hope you enjoyed that I'll pop the measurements in the comments so you don't have to remember them and as usual if you comment either on Facebook or YouTube I'll put you into the hat and I will um, send you the card you might even get both 
Okay, so have a lovely day and I shall see you soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.